of India's leading celebrity sports nutritionist. I work with sports athletes and you get very fit people. But I also run Koa Nutrition, which is a chain of nutrition clinics, extremely successful, one of the best in India. And what we are finding out is more and more diabetic people are walking through our doors. And our understanding over the last seven years, or my personal understanding as a chief nutritionist is this. Because times have changed, economy has changed, disposable incomes have changed, people are no longer eating without a restriction because they have money, they have disposable. You can walk into a shop and pick up a packet of sweets. Uh, you can buy uh, any amount of groceries, any amount of food that you want. You're experimenting. I remember my father talking about his grandfather's day where they rationed rice and bananas. One banana was shared among three children. Today, we'll give a child three bananas. So I think disposable calories is the new word that I would like to coin. As in people have so much of disposal calories, they're just consuming that. So the problem today is we do not know how much our body needs. So uh, if people say, hey, you want to be great to the environment, I would ask people to internally reflect on their carbon credit. How much food are you actually over consuming than what you metabolically require to survive, to live on this planet? So that's why when you consume extra, the human body is showing it. Bulging waistlines, larger hips, obesity, diabetes and the problem in my opinion is the white rice. Uh, India consumes a phenomenally large amount of white rice because we are a carbohydrate country and second obviously in the north wheat consumption research has shown that wheat even has an ability to raise blood sugar levels at a sustained level. So whilst people are diabetic they shift to chapatis they are actually doing the wrong things. People are diabetic they shift to ragi flour it's a wrong thing. You should shift to whole ragi, not ragi flour. So stuff like this where there are quick fix methods, diabetic people who are pre-diabetic, borderline diabetic, are actually pushing them into high uh, diabetic uh, levels. Also, the physical activity. My grandmother used to walk 5 kilometers to the market. My mother takes the car to the market and walks 1 kilometer in the market. And I ask for home delivery. So the different generations are having a lesser and lesser um, uh, what do you call that? Physical activity. So you're eating so much of calories, there's no physical activity. Where do you think all this sugar metabolism is going to go? The insulin is working over time. It doesn't have any help from you burning any calories. And so insulin has to work and then throw all of this as fat. And then fat reprograms insulin to saying, I'm going to make you less sensitive. I'm going to bring insulin resistance to you. As a result, you're moving towards a diabetic condition. So we will become the diabetic capital of the world shortly. Um, th there's no question about it unless there's a phenomenal government and society change in terms of the way we eat.